Greetings YouTubers, it's Zelda Mariners, and welcome back to Child of Light. Now last time, we attempted to uh, save the person behind this glass, and we failed miserably. Let's see if we can do a better job this time, shall we? I'm gonna take a look at my skill tree. Um, no, that, that won't help us. Um, no, yeah, I think this is our best bet. So we'll just try this again. I'll fast forward until we're in the battle. This is but a dream. Trust what not you see. Seems real to me. They want us dead. Oh, that's the part that didn't rhyme with red last time. So we're gonna lightweight his face. Hard. Ooh, that's a fast cast time. Oh, that's right, he heals himself like a loser! I think we're doing better this time. So we'll slash him, that should kill him. Oh, it doesn't. What? Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. Okay, this should kill him. Okay. So now I can focus on this guy. <coughs> Did. Yeah. Okay. Now he's going to attack us. And then we should heal. <coughs> Actually, I think we can. Oh, we don't have healing. So instead, we're going to do this. Ray, sorry. <clears throat> well, that's not nearly enough. Okay, he's going to attack us again. Except now we'll win. Now we'll win. We'll get two attacks. Assuming Firefly's light doesn't run out, we'll get two attacks. Or we could just kill him! Yeah! Okay. Whew! Magic Stardust! Ooh. I wonder what that does. <gasps> now we get to see who this was. <clears throat> Lady, this is Aurora. Madam, snared I am in the streamland. I am ready to wake up now. Child, a vision, take my hand. shone upon a land of sequined valleys and peaks of white and at night ruined castles glowed with alabaster light from the stars in the crescent moon a queen of light ruled this rambling place each night she walked the palace alone her luminosity dawn's own face until one night there was no trace the queen had vanished and with her the light Dark resided in its place. The usurper, Umbra, hid from sight. She sent her daughters in her stead. The sun, the stars, and the crescent moon. They pilfered from the sky, extinguished them with the monsoon. Then Umbra's dark creatures conquered the land. Our lives soon snuffed out by a wave of her hand. Madame, thank you for the story. But now I wish to wake. So dull my speech, you fell asleep. What I speak is real, not fake. All around us lies the land of Lemuria. I am afraid this is not a dream, Aurora. 
The only way is a magic link, a mirror behind the throne, stolen by Umbra, Queen of Night, the sole path home. Is to banish the night, bring back the stars, the sun, the moon, the light. No, unacceptable, my father waits. The firefly said you'd help me post haste. I have a name, you know. Do not despair, my dear. I created Ignoculus to aid you. A bug the size of a pin? No good, I fear. Never shall I recover the sun, the stars, and the moon. Do not despair, my dear, for the sun and moon seek the highest and lowest room. First go back from whence you came, past the altar on which you woke this day, through a tree of thorns sharp and tangled. Seek help along the way. And what of the stars? How will I reach the skies? Why, child, the answer lies above you. Open your eyes. What? <coughs> it's a star. What does the star do? What an incredible surprise! I can't just, I can't figure out what voice I want to make Aurora. Now she has wings. Am I a fairy? I am in flight. <clears throat> Aurora, you are a child of light. Ah, she said it. Now listen carefully. Keep that charmed crown upon your brow. Never remove it, clear? One last thing before I go, if should you should ever despair, my dear. Thank you. Exactly what does it do? Sorry, child, I cannot hear you. Goodbye. But wait, I must know. My father, is he all right? I'm surrounded by endless night. And she aches. And we've gotten an ordinary flute. All right. So we can open that up in our inventory. Uh, a gift from the Lady of the Forest. What exactly does it do? I don't know. Uh, let's increase our magic. Ha ha. Okay. <clears throat> so we need to heal ourselves somehow. <laughs> we must go back from once we came. Ooh, look, we can fly. Ha ha ha. Oh my, this is what it feels like to fly. Onward, up high! <clears throat> Chapter 3, Into the West. Well, I should say our route is clear. If we to the left fly, the tree of thorns will surely appear. Sir Firefly, to the sky. To the sky! <laughs> Let's fly as high as we can. Ooh, what is that? <clears throat> Confession number one. The sentries have been unkind to us. Gods forgotten within white temples fade. Utter lidded eyes, the palace sits frayed. Doors closed behind bleached rooms gathering dust. The gilded thrones gleam muted by dull rust. Rings worn into still walls, chart neglect laid, strata of history cleaned by no maid, no breeze, mirror shut, glass mottled with must. The explorers stand still, statues bleached white, eyes lidded, heads empty as the room, plans fade for a future repainted bright, pristine comes unclean without a flesh fight. Fresh, fre <laughs> I almost said flashlight. Oh, fresh. Fight. <laughs> the past reigns skeletal, holding a blank slate, the gleaming potential of a tomb. I don't know what that means. Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. All I know is we're gonna die if we don't, 
What do I do? Hello? Chase my dream as well? Let's talk to her. <laughs> Excuse me. Little lady, have you seen bright balloons nearby? And a unicorn's balancing on balls. Or striped tents raised to the stars? Uh, don't you mean sky? I'm afraid not. Fiddlesticks. Left here to fester. Pardon me, madame, but are you a jester? Take a glance at this note. Perhaps you mean letter. What are these scribbles marks I spy? Why? It's Latin, Sir Firefly. Dear sister Rebella, night has fallen on our land. Why do I keep making her British? I can't understand. Okay. <clears throat> Dear sister Rebella, night has fallen on our land. In these dark times, one must take a stand. Not to hide up in clouds curled, but to juggle the weight of the world. At death's gate, a slip and fall, and triumphantly dance around it all. In short, to laugh or not to laugh, that is the question. The answer is clear, I will follow my dream's intention. And join the traveling circus in the plains before its ascension. Sister, I hope you will not remain listless. Your brother, Tristus. Tristus has split our rack in two. Taken me through the ringer. Left Rubella behind. Me, Lamoria's wittest vocalist. Doesn't she mean singer? Regardless, we have much to do and should not linger. Little lady, can I join you? My bags are already packed. I've got to find my brother and save our double routine act. No, the way is likely dangerous with creatures strange to us. I'm a trained acrobat. Don't worry, I can handle this. That! Rebella has joined the party. Woohoo! So now we can see Rebella's plight in our inventory. Help Rebella join her brother to the circus in the plains, this Jester Usher. So we have to help her find her brother. And now we have skill points for Rebella. So, where do we want to put them? Defense upgrade, strength upgrade. So she has a heal power, or a heal attack, and a revive attack, so she can bring us back to life. So we'll do that, and um, I think I'll just go for her heal. So we'll do that. And we will call that an episode. So next time we'll help try to find, or help Aurora try to find that tree of thorns that she was looking for. And now that we have Rubella to help us, it should make things a lot easier in battle. So thank you guys for watching this episode. If you liked it, give me a like. If you like it a lot, subscribe and stuff. I'll stop pestering you. I'll see you guys next time.